So our server isn't the only thing with an SSH configuration. We can also add a configuration file within our local .ssh directory on our computer here. So on my Mac, I have the SSH directory and inside of it there's a file named config. And I can edit that and right now it's blank, but we can add some useful SSH configurations for ourselves here to make it easier to log into stuff. Now the following is specific to a Macintosh, but if I add the following, a host and then a wildcard to match any host, I can say use keychain yes. And if we have an SSH key with a password, our keychain on our Macintosh will remember that password for the future. So the Macintosh's application keychain will securely encrypt your password and store it and reuse it for any host that we log into over SSH. And this is really handy because I do suggest you add passwords to your SSH keys and I suggest they're long ones that are annoying to log in with, just like we might use one password or something like that with on our websites. And if we use the keychain on our Macintosh and there are equivalent tools on other OSs as well, not just Macintosh, but that makes it both secure to log in and convenient because the password will get added in there automatically for you. Now, we have the host here and that matches any host we log into. We can also be very specific with what host we want to affect. So I'm gonna say host and I'm gonna make up a name here. And this will be handy because you can make up anything you might remember. And I'll just call this one SFH start. And then we can define some stuff here. And basically what we're gonna say here is that when I say SSH, SFH start, log in with the following parameters. And I'm just gonna paste in a few things here. So these are all basically the same stuff we pass to the command whenever we log in. We have the host name, which is the IP address of the server, the user to log in with, Fidelper, the identity file, which is the dash I flag we use, to the squiggly line slash, that's the home directory of the current user, dot SSH, and we say to use the identity file, ID SFH start. Now I didn't say before, but the identity file is the private key that we don't make public. In other words, it's not the pub key. So we don't end this file in dot pub. We just name the private key file here. And then we say identity is only yes, just to make sure that it uses this identity file that we specify and it doesn't try to log in with other SSH keys. That's just a quirk of SSH that you have to say that. So we'll quit this file and then I can do SSH and we'll use the name that I created there, SFH start, and we'll be able to log in with all the parameters automatically. And we can see typing in this is a lot easier than all the other stuff we typed in before. This long string is definitely a lot more annoying to type than SSH SFH start. Now there are more tricks to that file and I cover them in some other Service for Hackers videos. So for now, I'll just leave it here. You can see it's very easy to configure your config file to make it really easy to log into your various servers.